All right, we've come a long ways with this baby. Um, so I guess today I am going to put all the sensors. Um, we're gonna zip this guy in here. I just uh, set it in there. But uh, yeah, I put this big bolt in here. We're gonna take it out. And uh, just so you know, the torque spec and all that stuff. And um, gonna get new pulley. So this is only sitting here. Uh, what else? And we're gonna put the intake in there. Uh, the intake actually in here. So that's the exhaust. And day is beautiful outside. We have the beast right there. Look at the difference. <laughs> so that's the drift car. That's where this engine is going. I gotta finish wrapping. I gotta take this car out of the garage. So I gotta finish tuning that. As you see, there's an AM down there on the floor. Uh, yeah. So let's do it. So we are gonna start by the crank position sensor. So there's a hole in your oil pump, which is all of this down here. And the crank position sensor goes right in there. And there is one bolt, so there's no way you can put this in the wrong way. And what this is, is like a magnet. And this magnet's gonna pick up on this dowel pin that has on this side here. So every time that this moves, it's not actually in the dowel pin, but every time this moves, it's gonna pick up uh, the position of it. So it kind of knows where it is. We're gonna do this here, um, 8.8. .8 newton meter which is around seven foot pound um don't quote me on that there you go now we are going to the camshaft the cam position sensor which is same principle it's a magnet it goes in there and uh this will uh pick up what is the position of the camshaft so we just put in there two bolts 8.8 .8 foot pound so this is also a 10 millimeter so we're gonna torque it now on the same side of the engine we're going to install the ect sensor gauge which is the uh, engine coolant temperature here there are two holes i was going in the wrong one so you put it there and there's a little washer and this is going to be at 14 foot pound <clears throat> this here starts at 15 so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna put it in there and push until i see up here i don't know if you can see 14 so you see 9 10 11 12 13 14. There you go. By the way, I use a 19 millimeter socket to put in here. Um, on this side, <coughs> actually, uh, on the other one we installed, um, there's this connector goes actually right in here. So I'm gonna get a little bolt and I'm gonna put in here. Usually it's 8.8 .8 foot pounds, so I'm gonna do that. All right, now there's an interesting thing. There's this thing here, which looks like a sensor, but it's not a sensor because it doesn't have a connector. Um, I would think there is an oil something, but this is not an oil uh, part. So I do not know what this is. So if you know what this is, uh, leave a little comment here. It says 3A, I would say like, like three amps or something like that, let me see. There you go. There's a 3A, there's something else in here. And yeah, that's pretty much it. That symbol. And the top is like that, bottom is like that. I just know that it goes right in here because that's the only place that it fits. Anyway, leave a comment down there. I'm gonna leave this here. But we're gonna come back to this later, I think. 
okay and since I don't know what this is I'm gonna put a little o-ring in there so I know that's gonna be sealed all the way and this is touching the block and I'm gonna torque the same torque spec that was done on that one so it's gonna be 15 so there are two knocking sensors one has one pole and the other one has well they both have one but one is the circle is larger on the back the one has a smaller and has a click probably this one is broken I don't know but uh, this one that is a little has more stuff on the back goes to the front of the engine and this one goes to the back what we're gonna do is be sure that this is clean now I wash the engine and do a lot of stuff so I don't need to worry about anything um, <clears throat> one thing we're gonna do is put some uh, tread lock in here because not a lot you don't really don't want this to come out because uh, this gives us a lot of good information about how the engine is <clears throat> running and if there is some knocking happening and you know uh, that could help us uh, help the ECU to take some uh, measurements so there you go and those are going to be at 33 foot pound and at 27 um, millimeter socket so okay so we got knocking sensors uh, coolant temperature sensor uh, crankshaft sensor camshaft sensor so there is an oil sensor that I'm not sure where it is I gotta find all my things or I need to buy one probably I don't have it um, so let's do this guy all right so there are a few parts to this <clears throat> one you have this here and I would suggest you replace this gasket inside um, one thing I'm going to do before uh, put in there, I put a gasket here yesterday because I didn't want to lose it. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this out of here and I'm going to get some oil and I'm going to put a drip of oil all around the gasket. Uh, there's one bolt that goes in here which we also got a torque. There is, I'm afraid of talking this too much because I broke a few of those and uh, this is a uh, let me see the number is a e7 it's just a start pattern so torque that thing I'm gonna get this big bolt that goes in here and there is this weird washer don't lose that washer because if you do you might need to go to there's this website called drift motion um, and they have all the stuff you need for 2JZ, all the crazy o-rings and parts you don't know where it is. Uh, so I'm going to get this here. This is where it goes the filter and the oil pressure goes in here. So let's torque. This is a 24 millimeter should be and the torque spec should be... 65 foot pounds so let's go to my nice torque wrench wow it's gonna be a lot hang on now it's time to put the oil feed for the VVTi so the VVTi part stands up here there's a, a solenoid that goes up there and knows uh, when to activate this VTI pull in here and put more pressure less pressure which is add time and remove time so this is like that um, and I guess you gotta play with this a little to see where it goes and how it goes but uh, the top one is a bungee boat that has a big hole in the middle and <clears throat> you put a filter on top of it and not just that you gotta have two of those little washers 
So there is one here already and I have another one. So what I need to do is go to the top, put this in there, and put it in there. <clears throat> but not just that, I also need to have the bottom ready. Um, because once I put the top, I won't be able to move the bottom. So you do like that and carefully set the top in there. Also the bottom. There you go. So now we have our feet in there and there is one little bolt that goes in here on the water outlet. Just to uh, fix this in here so it doesn't it kind of vibrates but I think it helps a little bit on the vibration and in general and not to fall off so now we gotta torque all of those and this by the way is a 22 millimeter I don't know if I said that and yep I do like that so we know that this is torqued so this one can be torqued a little more there you go and of course we can't forget about this one nut that goes in here so I'm gonna get a 12 millimeter and I'm gonna torque as much as I can by hand <clears throat> there are two of those studs here um, so ideally we gotta get there and tight them so you're not loose but be careful because those head here, the star head, they break on you, so. Right. What I'm going to do is I'm gonna get a gasket. This is the intake side. And done. There is one extra side here that is definitely not for, for, for this car. But um, I'm gonna get the a razor blade and I'm gonna cut right in there anyway put this in there um, fits beautifully and the intake this is the holes the holes for the uh, injectors are here so they go up there are two of the big bolts here already can you see here one here and one here uh, those studs are gonna make it stay in here so it makes life easier for us and those two bolts here you just tie them a tiny bit so it stays in there so uh, five bolts on the bottom and the two nuts on the sides so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put all the bolts in there and <clears throat> I got my impact wrench with an extension and just zap it So we're gonna torque him at 15 foot pound. I guess that's it for this video. We did um, we did a lot of cool stuff in here. Um, on the next video I'm going to actually uh, install these parts in here uh, and torque them so we can um, in probably in one more video do the uh, timing part put the timing belt and time it correctly and all that stuff do not forget to subscribe to my channel uh, this helps me I was gonna say uh, normally but I, don't, I was just bringing Portuguese to English so um, that helps me a lot um, don't forget to like share and comment the little like button is around here somewhere and check out my website for cool t-shirts and flip-flops www.carmodsgarage.com and I will see you on the next video